Hi, today I'm launching a 10 day email course on making a career in computer vision. This course will teach you how to build that hobby project of yours or start a vision based startup or become a researcher in vision or whatever your goal might be. This course will help you achieve that. I'll show you an ideal roadmap from start to finish on how to master this computer vision career roadmap. And it doesn't matter what your background is. This course is designed in a way to cover audiences of all experience levels. And the best part is this course is completely free. You can join using the link in the description below. Here's a quick summary of what we'll be covering in this course. In the first day, we'll go over the ideal learning technique to master computer vision. I'll talk about two approaches, the bottom up approach and the top down approach. The bottom up approach is basically used by universities. They build the theoretical foundation first and then move on to the more practical stuff. And then there is the top down approach, which is more practical when learning applied AI. In day two, we'll build the required math and computer science background. So a lot of times you see machine learning everywhere. You want to approach her, I mean, you want to approach it and apply it, right? But the mathematics gets in your way. And this stops a lot of people. They're afraid of math, but you don't need to be. Basically, you just need to learn a few basic principles and you're all set to go. In this day, I'll share a number of useful resources that will help you master those concepts. The other thing that you will need to get started is some coding knowledge. And you can get that by learning Python and some command line scripts. And I'll show you how to master both of these. Day three, we'll learn some high level AI. Now, artificial intelligence is a vast field. It has many subdomains like natural language processing, computer vision, and many others. Now you can get easily lost among the landscape. In this day, I'll show you a high level overview of the entire field and how you can grasp the foundational concepts to get started. Day four, we'll talk about image processing and classical vision. So in this day, I'll cover how you can get the basics of image processing and why you should learn it in the first place. So in reality, when you're working with image data sets, you can't directly apply deep learning right away. You first need to pre-process the data and this is where image processing is really handy. And even after you get the deep learning model and get predictions out of it, you need to post process the image results. And this is where also you apply image processing knowledge. So image processing is a must when you are working with computer vision data. Another problem that I frequently see is that people just go over the basic deep learning model building and then they try to solve every other problem with it. And this is an issue. Because many times you see minor vision based problems that can easily be solved by classical computer vision techniques that are lightweight, does not require training, easy to apply and computationally inexpensive. So this is a must learn skill set for any computer vision practitioner out there. Day 5. You'll build your AI and ML foundation and start working with machine learning models. Now, although you can get started working with machine learning models using a high level library, but it's a lot better if you have some foundational AI concepts on your hand. So I'll show you some resources that you can quickly master these fundamental uh, concepts in AI. And then we'll talk about how we can start building machine learning models using a very popular library called Scikit-learn, which can help you quickly apply a number of machine learning models by just changing a single line of code. Day six, we we'll learn and apply deep learning. So first we'll talk about how deep learning approaches overcome the shortcomings of machine learning algorithms. I'll then share some well-designed free series of machine learning specializations and courses that you can go over to build your deep learning foundation. And then I'll talk about two very powerful libraries that will help you build any deep learning model and apply it right away. Day seven, model deployment and computer vision projects. So after you have trained a deep learning model, the journey doesn't stop there. You need to deploy it to production and there are a lot of options out there. So in this day, we'll talk about the options and the resources that will help you get started in this area. Next up, to master any skills, you need to first learn to utilize it and build something. And this is where all of your skills, all of your knowledge is tested. So here I will show you how you can get started in building computer vision projects. What are the best practices and what things to avoid? Day 8. Reading computer vision research papers. In this day, I'll talk about the importance of reading research papers, even if you don't want to be a researcher. 
Next up, I'll also show you the techniques and tips and tricks that you can use in order to read research papers. And I know for a fact that for beginners out there, that learning to read papers is not a pleasant experience. So here I will share tips and tricks that will help make it easy for you. After you have learned to read papers, you will cherish this skill for years to come. Believe me, this will feel like a superpower. Day 9. Time to decide your path. Research, development or domain expertise. So here I will show you three separate paths that you can go into. Path 1 will be to pick a subdomain and move into research. For example, you are interested in GANs and you decide to make a research career in this specific niche of AI. So you can do that and there are many other options. Path 2 is to pick an applied vision field or industry and move into development. For example, you may be interested in the autonomous industry and want to build self-driving cars. So you can move into that area. Or you may be interested in augmented reality, which is an applied vision field, and you may decide to move into that. The final path is to merge your domain expertise with computer vision and build expert systems. For example, you may be a doctor or you may be interested in the medical field. And you can decide to combine your medical expertise with the computer vision knowledge and build some interesting applications. For example, you may build a skin disease detector using medical knowledge and a computer vision based algorithm. Finally, on the last day, I'll share an interesting bonus that will be very useful to you. I'll also show you where to go from here and how to utilize all the things that I have teached you over the course of 10 days. And remember, this is an email course, so there is only so much that I can pack inside emails. I'll be sharing tips, techniques and all the resources that will help you learn all of those things that I've mentioned in the course of 10 days. So make sure to bookmark and save all of these emails so you can reference them later on. So this was a short summary of the entire course. You can join the course by using the link in the description below. And remember, this course is free for you. So if you need to thank me or something, make sure to let me know in the comments or like this video. And best of all, share this video with your colleagues or anyone that might find this course useful. All right, that is it for this video and I'll see you next week. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Bye.